everyone, and welcome aboard the Walt Disney World Transportation System. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Double Dose of Disney podcast. As always, my name is Brittany and I am joined here by my Disney Springs loving husband, Tony. One of our favorite places to relax when we are on vacation at Walt Disney World is going to Disney Springs. We made a previous episode talking all about the history of Disney Springs and the basic details about it. Um, If you don't know, Disney Springs is Walt Disney World's shopping and dining district. It is free for anyone to get into. Um, If you are staying at a Disney resort, there are buses that will take you from your resort over to Disney Springs and back. So this week we're sharing our must-dos from shopping and dining and everything in between. Yeah, so it's basically it's it well it is an out, it's an outdoor mall, right? But it's as Disney's own like touch, so it's not just like oh you know our typical mall that you know where you come from. It's got so much more. There's like so much more to do, see. They have it's like so clean and just it, it it's a, it basically a must do, at least a half day on your off day. Yeah, when I'm planning vacations for people to Walt Disney World, I always recommend to spend some time in Disney Springs. Typically, we um, spend at least an evening there, if not a day there. We used to go to Disney Springs the first night of every trip. We broke tradition with that this past trip um, with having our twin three-month-old daughters with us for the first time. We ended up staying in a resort and we changed it up and spent an entire day at Disney Springs later on in our vacation. So like Tony said, either way, like you, you're you missing out if you don't go to Disney Springs. You, It costs you nothing. You don't have to like pay. You don't have to buy anything there. You don't have to do anything to, that costs money. You could just walk around and just see it. Like, and like you said, it's like, the sh- it's a really, it's a really nice shopping center with Disney flair to it. That's what I always tell people. And it has the biggest Disney store. It does. In period. the world. Yes. So just for that reason, like you can basically, basically you see anything and buy your thing Sensory that you want. overload. Yeah. <laughs> right at, right at top three. What? It, it excuse my mind, but the one we always go to is a little smaller, has more like fun, kind of like retro about the tank top, the automation tank Market, top. Marketplace co-op. Yeah, that one's always like a little hidden gem too. Yeah. It's like a, kind of like boutique style, like just a little smaller. Right. Compared to the the monstrosity. The before. big one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so currently Disney Springs has 95 different stores to choose from when you're on your vacation. Disney says, the, the slogan for Disney Springs is happily whatever you're after. Because you can really do anything there. They've got 95 um, shopping locations. There's 69 places to grab food from. Um, And then there's a ton of different entertainment options too. We won't get into the entertainment options today. Maybe we'll touch on like live music or something. But um, there's some different entertainment options like a um, hot air balloon or um, the um, Cirque du Soleil show, things like that that you can do as well, as well as like a movie theater if you're wanting to see a movie while you're at Disney Springs. Never done. No, we've never done any of the entertainment options. won't do. Until we're living there. Yeah. I think it would be cool to go see like, so when Haunted Mansion came out this past summer, I was like, man, I was like, it would be so cool to be seeing Haunted Mansion at Disney Springs because they like roll out a red carpet for it or it was a purple carpet in that case, I believe. Um, and then they'll have like special like snacks just like Disney does for everything else for the premieres. So without further ado, what is your favorite shopping location at Disney Springs? None of the above. No you shopping. You don't like shopping at Disney Springs. Yes, I mean, you do. There's a couple. <laughs> and the top of the list is more of a fun one. It's one that I don't ever buy anything at. But you have to go in there because you probably pass it by thinking that, oh, it's, you know, no fun here. You can't try anything on. It's Chapel Hat Shop. You love going in there. All the locations are going to be up to you. Yeah. Because you're the expert. I just work here. Who? You. Me? What do you mean? So where it's located. Chapel Hot Shop? So it's, I think it's right. It's in the landing section of Disney yeah. Springs. It's right down from, like, if you're walking to the boathouse, take a, a, boat a right at the boathouse. And it's in the no, landing but they section. They encourage you, they literally encourage you to, to try all the hats on. They have the top hats, they got all the 
the old old guy hats you want to wear, and they're just fun. Yeah, they have some regular hats. It's real small, but just <laughs> but like you got to go in there. I mean, You've never bought anything there, right? I don't think so. Very close. <laughs> Tony Link, they have like fedoras, and and you're right. We did hear the. I think it's the guy who owns it right, so, or yeah, the manager. We he, you to try try them on. Right. I mean, just as long as you don't have lice or something, you're good. Yeah. Yeah. Use your, use your era if you do. That's a fun thing about Disney Springs is they have some locations like they have an Under Armour store, they have a Lululemon, they have um, Free People, Columbia, like traditional stores that you would I'm find in your shopping store, center. Yeah, that I'm not going to see the right. house, like, in, or our house here. Or yeah. Here. Yeah. And, and stores like that are really fun to go into. That's There's, the whole point. Unique stuff. Different stuff. I'm trying to think of like the other like unique like things that they have. I think they have like something like there was like a kiosk or something for people that are left handed or they have like dog stuff at different places and stuff like that. My favorite shopping location at Disney Springs is one that you already mentioned, but it's Marketplace Co-op. I love going to Marketplace Co-op at Disney Springs. It is in the Marketplace section of Disney Springs, of course, which is kind of like if you go, if you take a ride share into Disney Springs, so if you take like Uber or Lyft into Disney Springs, you go through a side entrance, not the main entrance that you're dropped off by the buses. And it's going to be over in that area. It's right past World of Disney. If you keep going past World of Disney, it's over in that area. And um, the marketplace is like what Tony said. It has, it's like a bunch of different little boutiques all in one um, location. So they've got like Apparel, accessories, personalized tech gear, and gadgetry, which was like magic bands, I believe, that they had. But it's not boutique. It's just set up in that Yeah, it's, it, it, it's set up like a boutique, but it's not. Um, they have pet items. There's home decor in there. There's this really fun... Um, it's a car from the Mr. Toad's Wild Ride that you can sit in and take photos of. Um, they used to have the vault collection up there during the 50th anniversary. They have like 100 years of Disney stuff there right now that's on sale, actually. So if you're going there, you should check that out. But... Um, there's also at the very end, and I cannot, I'm blanking on the name of it right now, but what is the store that you bought the Haunted Mansion t-shirt, the tank top in? There's, it's, if you go into the Marketplace Co-op and you go directly, you go directly to like the end the, of it, the dog stuff. it's, um, a store that has like, or it's the store that has like, they had like a whole Haunted Mansion collection. Tony got... A tank top from there. He also like kicked himself because he wanted to buy a Haunted Mansion sweatshirt from there and he couldn't. I've gotten Stony Clover ears from there before. I've gotten really cool like um, Walt Disney Studio stuff from there too. They, we usually always find something in that store. Yeah, and that's the only one you found your ears in one time. That even that's though, what I said. My Stony Clover yeah. ears. Yeah, and then they oh, like this past time too. There's a really fun Minnie Mouse collection that's out right now. So if you're going to Disneyland in the next couple of weeks, check it out. I got the red and pink ears and they have like really fun like daisy prints on them um but they have like those there and stuff like that they have like kind of trendier items the thing about disney springs though like there's only about four or five places maybe oh it's called trendy duh trendier items trendy okay anyway sorry what it is because <laughs> you're not going to find that you're like your typical like mall or outdoor mall like yeah most of them you're gonna and there's like a bunch of high-end stuff like you know you're not gonna go you're not gonna go stop it no and you're right like there's so there's there's marketplace co-op there's world of disney there's um a toy store that's like of course disney themed toys um there is one that is called i believe it's called ever after shop and that has like all of like the disney I mean, you're gonna go there, you're gonna go like and a, then disney like style a Lego store yeah you're not going to go to Fabletics. No, 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 no. You're right. We stopped in Fabletics before. Though. Didn't you buy something? I mean, it's obviously fun to go. Like, we do everything. Yeah. If you have the time. But yes, prioritize the unique things to Disney. I'm surprised you didn't pick World of Disney as your favorite store. Nope. You wanted to go off, off the grid? Yep. Also, too, another store that we love going into is the Crystal Arts. Um, if Actually, Crystal Arts is at Magic Kingdom. 
It's um, the Arribas Brothers uh, store. The blown glass store. Yes. In they make Dis- their own stuff. In Disney Springs. And if you don't know, the Arribas Brothers have like this really strong history with Disney. Follow them. You're um, yeah, if you're not following them on TikTok, you should be following them. It's the Arribas Brothers. You can see, they're, yeah, Magic Kingdom everywhere. Every, every, they have, every, they, uh, they have a every shop in every Disney park around the world. So what it is, is the Arribas Brothers were handpicked by Walt Disney at the um, World's Fair to um, because they created hand blown glass. Now they create, of course, hand blown glass all themed to Disney. So it's Disney characters. There was like a six hundred and fifty thousand um, dollar crystal mm, yeah. statue of Magic I Kingdom. Think it was five hundred thousand. Oh, I, th- I said 650000 It wasn't that much. Yeah, it half a million. Oh. Um, but anyway, they are really cool. They're also typically hand-blowing glass when you come in there. So it's it's a really cool place to, like, stop and see. And if you follow them on TikTok, like we said, they do a great job of sharing, like, the history of the company. Okay, next up. Favorite quick service location? What do you got? Let's go. I have two. two in a row. We have two in case you pick one of mine, so I have an alternate. Oh, yeah, there you go. You go, I go, you again. <laughs> okay. So I I am going to go with the Polite Pig for the reason that the Polite Pig is an incredible barbecue location at Disney Springs. Um, they have appetizers. They have awesome barbecue. They have a whole bourbon bar that's actually located outside. You can get a bourbon flight there. So you know an overview of the place. What have you tried there? So I've gotten the Brussels sprouts there, and I've loved the Brussels sprouts there. We have not eaten there. So I have two, actually. I have one place that I've eaten at that I love, too. But so I it's a fan favorite, but it's not necessarily one that you try because you know them for well, no, favorite. Well, no, I like it. <laughs> okay, listen. On the spot. I like, I like a polite pig. I like what I've eaten there. I like always going and grabbing a drink there because it's a great spot to like sit so and people you watch. That the wrong category. Hold on. To sit and people watch. I also picked it because it's a quick service meal on the dining plan. So for people who have the dining plan, this is like one of the best options for the dining plan for a quick service meal, especially at Disney Springs. Because this barbecue location has gotten a Michelin star, which is an incredible award for restaurants. So that's why I picked it. My actual favorite is Chicken Guy. And if you don't know, Chicken Guy is located in Town Center of Disney Springs. This is Guy Fieri's chicken location. So they have like, they specialize in tenders. They have fried tenders or grilled tenders. Last trip we went there, I got the grilled tenders. They're also kind of known for all of their sauces. I think they used to have over 20, but now they have 10. Either way, you can get sauces with it. I got like a cilantro chili sauce and it was really good. Um, with coleslaw, it was a good, like you can either get it as a light meal or you can get it heavier if you want it fried with French fries. You can guarantee that every kid is at that place. It's always busy. So it, you gotta, you gotta, mobile you order. Be, you better be selective when you go. Yeah. Because so that's the thing at Disney Springs is you got to go to places like depending on the time and most people are going to go the, the quicker thing, a little bit, you know, budget friendly. So last time I went, there was a group of 85 it kids. It was there a bunch of us. cheerleaders. No, it wasn't It was mixed. Oh, no, you're right, yeah. I don't know if it was yeah. a school trip. I don't know what it was. But basically, they, they had that, that whole outdoor section and the one across the street, which wasn't even the Wolf same. Gang, the Wolfgang Bar, yeah, like, outdoor. To every table. So, yeah, you can guarantee that all the kids will be there for sure. Yeah, so if you want to go to Chicken Guy, like Tony said, one of the things you can do is you can order it online. I did that. We walked up, and there was a whole group of people that were standing in line. and then there, But there was a cast member that was standing outside with, like, a QR code. I just scanned the QR code and ordered it, got my food while the people are still standing in line. So I'm not sure like why they were standing in line, but either way, I would recommend ordering minutes, it online. Yeah, it You're did. You're never gonna really walk in and out of that place. No, I if we if we would have known that, I would have just ordered it while we were walking around, so then we could have just walked up and grabbed it. Their pro tip that you already know: just mobile order whenever you can. Yeah, well, it's not mobile ordering, but it's like ordering online because it's not in Disney World. Okay, what is yours? What would you think mine would be? <laughs> the poutine? Yeah. Really? I thought you didn't like it that much. It's just something different. And it, it's mysterious. Because it's called Daily Poutine. <laughs> and it's right outside... Uh, of the World of Disney. Yeah, World of Disney. So I got the Korean barbecue. Yeah. And there's Asian barbecue pulled pork, kimchi, and sriracha aioli. But right now they added it like butter chicken poutine... And a buffalo chicken, 
and it's like a loaded frites. Which right? one did you they get? Frites. frites. Which one did you get? Uh, the Korean. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, you're right. You did get the Korean, but you were trying to decide between the butter chicken and the Korean. And I like them all no matter what, because like everything together, all mixed together, it, it does. It changes every time we go. It's just something mysterious. Like, what? I mean, they got like four of them. And I've never seen the same ones. So like during the holidays, they have one, I believe it has like cranberry sauce and gravy stuffing or, or yeah, like cranberry sauce and gravy with like turkey. They it's always the have something you've different. Ever had, no, but like, and it's a, but it's a big pile. It's unique. It's like 10 bucks. It's a huge pile of fries with like different toppings and stuff. Yeah. Easy shareable for two or three people and just like walk around. I had a bite of it and it was actually really good. It's just one of those, you don't, you, you don't know. Yeah. What do you got this time? One of the other like honorable mentions that I would say that we loved at um, Disney Springs, we tried it this time. It's not necessarily like a quick service location, so it's not going to be on the Disney dining plan. But if you're looking for something quick, there are food trucks that are located directly across from the M&M store at Disney Springs. And we got um, tostadas from the cilantro food truck. They were so good. I don't know if those are... They probably have some kind of lease or something. They're there. Like, so if you look on the Disney Springs website, there's four dining locations. There's four li- or four yeah, food trucks there. So, four. yeah, they're on there. I guess, they, like you said, they have a lease for some period of time. So the cilantro one, we ate at the cilantro one. That was really good. There's also tables along the water um, there that you can sit at and, I'll like, relax. I will say majority is probably Mexican food. I yeah. Two the it was front uh, four. There was another one that does burritos, and then there was one that did juices. Yeah, nobody goes that one. No. So, next up, your Moving favorite, on. favorite table service location. Boathouse. Duh. That's what you got? Um, yeah. Moving I got, on. Next no, one. listen. No, no, no. <laughs> stop. No, okay. So, the boathouse is located in the landing section of Disney Springs. It's right along the water. Um, it is a steak and seafood location. They do have American food there. If you have the dining plan, it's technically a two table service credit meal. I made a TikTok actually about that today. Um, I don't recommend using the boathouse on your dining plan because depending on what you get, it's not necessarily worth it. So if you get a steak, a steak can be $60. But if you get like a sandwich, like let's say you get like a shrimp po' boy or you get um, the grilled salmon or something like that, it's going to be $20 to $30. Don't use your table service credits on that i would just pay out of pocket that's what we did when we ate there when we had the dining plan but we love eating there we've eaten there every single trip besides this past one did you miss eat, not eating there this past trip always did but this one was more about trying new yeah, stuff we've never tried i agree and it's a hot take whatever you want to call it but we always dog in ragged road don't go there do not waste your time <laughs> there, there is a couple things we've seen that we haven't tried that are like you know don't go to Raglan Road for dinner. I'll talk about it in a little bit for Fish like other another like this is scene. Us. This is our take. Fish and chips. I don't think they're good there. No, but the food. But it's a big the atmosphere is great. Yeah. There's a lot Over of other, a tapa and a beer. And there's a lot of other things you can get there besides the fish and chips. I actually got um, the um, short ribs there, like, and that was really really good. I think they have a shepherd pie. They do have shepherd's There's a couple things we have not tried on there that they look really good. The things we... There's a lot of things on there. Wait, look how big this menu is. We haven't tried any I, of I it. <laughs> I'm just trying to help the people out. No, Tony is right. Like, so Raglan Road the is a Irish pub, um, and it's located in the landing section of Disney Springs. We ate there one time. We were really excited to eat there. They had the fish and chips, which Tony got. They have a great atmosphere. Um, and But to eat there for dinner wasn't necessarily like our jam. Like that just you wasn't can it. get in a boathouse quicker than this place. Yeah. And the food is way better at boathouse. Yeah, no, I agree. So well, it's just based, based off of personal preferences. Yes, yes, yes. It's based off, yeah. So go eat a boathouse and then just go swing by if you can. But we are also people who typically like to eat lighter food. Like, we don't like, like, something, like, super heavy all the time. Oh, I do. Well, you do, Not yeah. But, like, eating, like, bangers and mash or chicken pot pie isn't something you're probably going to do at Disney. Yeah. You would? I would. Okay. All right. Mine, so since you, you said the boathouse, my alternative was 
somewhere that I said that we need to eat when we go in the future. And that is from Terra Cocina because you know what I found out? They have the avocado margarita from La Cava. And they have some of the same... The margar- frozen one that's pre-mixed? No, they have some of the same margaritas that La Cava has, including your mezcal, which Tony famously, we were at a friend's house, he had mezcal. Tony said... This smells like pirate water. So our friends are Disney fans. And so they're like, so every time we smell pirate water, we also think it's mezcal. But yeah, they have a lot of the same. I don't know if it's owned by the same people that own La Cava, um, but they have La Cava avocado. They have a play with fire margarita. And that sounds like something that's also at La Cava. So I wanted to go eat there. It's a Mexican food um, location in the um, town center section of Disney Springs. It's located like it's got like a patio to it and everything like that. We typically don't eat Mexican food when we're at Disney World just because we're from Texas and we can eat it all the time. Um, but this is something like they have ting- we do. they have tinga tacos, they have carne asada tacos, carnitas. Um, they have a lot of different. Stuff. I really want us to go try eating here like soon. I think it'd be like good to go eat there for like a lunch or something like that and sit on the patio. And it escapes my mind, but the other honorable mention, the brunch. Oh, um, Chef Art Smith. Yeah. Which we have never eaten at yet. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of, when I was looking at the table service locations, there's a lot we haven't tried yet. Like, we still want to eat a paddlefish. We haven't gotten to paddlefish yet. We've tried a couple times. Um, we haven't gotten to Wouldn't Chef Art Smith yet. We haven't gotten to Summer House on the Lake yet. Um, so, really, the That's only... That's the thing about going there. Every time you go anywhere in Disney, you're never going to try it all. Well, and the thing is, there's always new opening up, so there's always more to go back and do. And that's the reason why we didn't eat at the boathouse this time because we wanted to try different places, but then we just didn't have a table service location um, this past trip since it was our first trip with the girls. Okay, favorite place to grab a drink. I came up with an alternative because I'm pretty sure I know yours. Play big. That's your favorite place to grab a drink? Yep. What? For one, it's usually the first one. I'm shocked. We're walking in right on that side. And we don't ever do anything. They have all the whiskey and all the flights and stuff, but you just grab a beer. It's kind of the first thing, and then we go to uh, World Disney right after that. That's true, we do. And it's really You don't fun. have to go inside. They have like the outside little place where you can just order right there. You don't have to go inside and maybe, you know, long thing, like get a drink and just. It's always really fun to like keep to people watch there. They have high top tables, they have blue top tables. This past time, Tony just grabbed a beer there. (laughs) This past time, Tony just grabbed a beer there. Um, And I think I just got a water and we just like walked around. We didn't really like hang out there. But yeah, it is a really cool place to grab a drink. My place that I chose or that I figured you were going to say was Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar. How about it? Um, it, We've only been there twice. Yeah. Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar is, well, we don't go, like, to bars at Disney Springs all the time. No, but for me, it was more, I feel like it was more fruity, kind of different drinks. Like, it wasn't, like, a whole lot of, like, um, they had my style. They had, like, whiskey, like, on, like, um, whiskey neat and stuff like that. Like, um, I got a... For that, for that, it's more of a, we like the environment. I would say, like, we already know it's that pretzel. No, that's what I was going to talk about. The pretzel charcuterie board. Yeah, like, I got the... sitting outside. Last time that we were... So, if you don't know, Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar is located right next to um, the boathouse in the landing section of Disney Springs. Um, It is themed to Jock Lindsay's... uh, Themed to be Jock Lindsay's Hangar from um, the Indiana Jones movies. And so there's a lot of fun theming and stuff throughout the restaurant. If you go outside, there's a boat outside um, that you can sit in as well. And then and right- we timed it perfect one time when the band playing outside yeah. at night and we had that pretzel charcuterie board and it was perfect. Yeah, so they have the, um, they have a, they Which have like- only Blake. after like five or six o'clock, so just so you know. They have several different appetizers. Um, we Tony's talking about the Air Pirates cargo loaded pretzel. So it's got prosciutto, sliced brats, salami, cheddar, um, caraway pickles, spicy mustard, and a beer cheese fondue. 
it was it's in of course like a huge pretzel like the pretzel is kind of surrounding everything um and then i got the like i got i've gotten there like the scottish professor which is kind of like i was trying to get into drinking whiskey and that was kind of like drinking a long island it was not what i was thinking it was um but they have a lot of different drinks there too you can get like it's a full bar so you can just get whatever you would like to drink there um but it's not gonna be like some type of like um what do you what do you call it like a craft bar that where you're gonna get like the big ice cube with like their name stamped in it or something like that but no it's more of a casual place right that's just the thing it's supposed to be yeah no definitely it's supposed to be like that there's no you... like you know huge menu or anything it's just more kind of like casual drink i guess basic yeah during the holidays they have like jock Lindsay's. i think it's called jock Lindsay's holiday bar um we haven't we haven't been there for that or anything like that we obviously didn't go this past trip because we had the girls with us but um it's not a it's family friendly you can take your kids in there but we just had to park our stroller outside um so because it's more of a lounge all of these places at disney springs where you can grab drinks from are more of like a lounge but my alternative because i figured you were going with jack Lindsay's, was actually raglan road that you were dogging on so raglan road as we already talked about is in the landing section of disney springs do we want to go eat there for dinner? No. Part of the reason is also, too, it's really loud in there, like, for dinner. But we've gone and sat at the bar there before, and that was really fun. So you can sit at the bar and... We um, went at the bar, and we've literally been in the first seat in front of the stage. Yeah. And it's about the, it's about, the noise level is about the same. Right, but, we like... Don't expect to go be having a romantic if you're if you're going to just grab a drink like that's fine to me like for it to be loud that was awkward if you're going for dinner and you're trying to like have a conversation it's not it was <laughs> yeah it was not um we're looking at everybody else trying to you know see what they were doing because we, we couldn't talk anyway <laughs> we just went there and grabbed a drink um before but um and i that's kind of what i would recommend doing okay next one your favorite place to grab a dessert during your... Gideon's. You haven't even been there yet. I know, but that's what everybody wants to hear. What? We talk about how you should not go to Gideon's. You should go to the other Gideon's location in Orlando. Exactly. So, salt and straw. <laughs> okay, so Gideon serves the famously, what, quarter pound cookies, half pound cookies? Never know. We've never eaten never them. Never inside, never seen inside. We peek inside and the door opens and that's it. Yeah. But Salt and Straw is your actual location that you Yeah, like. but if you want to actually rule like the best dessert, it's going to be at your table service locations. That's true. So, I mean, other than that, you're going to have like good ice creams and different things and like fudge and yeah, candy. Yeah, that's a good point. But you're going to, it's at wherever you're eating dinner at. Yeah, there's a lot of different dessert places that you can get. There's like Swirls on the Water where you can get um, Dole Whips from. There's Salt and Straw, which is kind of like a very unique ice cream location. Um, they'll have like different, um, themed ice creams, like, um, one with like, like strawberry, honey, honey, balsamic with black pepper or ice cream that has olive oil in it or something like that. We've gotten their, um, dairy free ice cream before and it was really good. You got like, it was like a peanut butter chocolate or something like that. Yeah. That in the donut place next to it. Oh, so salt and so in salt and straw is located in the West side of Disney west Springs. Side. Um, it's right next to the M&M store. The um, donut store that Tony's talking about is Everglades. We've never actually like, gotten donuts good. there. It's more like for your, your kids to have good desserts. But if you want actually like a delicate dessert, like it's going to be the place you go eat dinner at. That's true. Yeah, I guess like, have we ever had dessert from the Boathouse before? I was trying to remember what we got because it's been a minute. But it's, they're always going to be the best. Yeah, and then uh, like, Price like kind of brownie or something. Raglan Road is kind of famous for their like um, bread pudding that they have there. So you could just go to Raglan Road and get like a dessert if you're with your family, and, like just sit down, like go later in the evening so they're not have like as long of a wait, um, or go and sit at the bar and ask for the dessert. The one that I um, actually chose was Aaron McKenna's Bakery, mainly because Aaron McKenna's is, since I eat gluten-free, everything in there, it's a completely gluten-free bakery. It's gluten-free, it's vegan, so it's dairy-free. Um, it's also free of a lot of allergens. So if you or someone in your party has allergies, you can, food allergies, you can go in there and you can get um, whatever you want. Like we've gone in there before we got coffee cake it was during the 50th and i think we got some type of cupcake we got and um, like another cake we basically 
got a bunch of pastries to take back to our resort room and then we were just going to eat them throughout our trip. Did we actually eat them? No, because we totally forgot. But um, we had them in the room and we could have eaten them and they were really good. So you can go in there. I like it. It's really unique in the fact that you're not going to find like those gluten-free treats all over Disney World. Or yeah, I'm sorry, not all over that's everywhere. Disney Disney because they, like, they come up to everybody. Yeah, I was going to say, I misspoke on that. You're going to find, you find those unique treats at Disney World. You're not going to find them anywhere else. So I found the desserts at Boathouse. What? They have a bread pudding, caramel apple bread pudding. I don't think we've had that. Blackberry cheesecake. I think maybe we've had that. Key lime pie. Ooh, that sounds good. Triple chocolate layer cake. Macadamia turtle pie. So it actually it isn't like, well, actually these all serve, the last three serve two. Oh. So a little more pricey. Like $27, but they serve, I guess it's a huge portion. Right. And I feel like these are rotating or something. I don't feel like we've ever seen these ones. I feel like we had some type of cheesecake when we went there though. If it was blackberry, I probably would have gotten that. Yeah. I don't know. Caramel apple bread pudding. Yeah. I feel like they definitely rotate these things out, too. Yeah. But if you want the best, um, it's got to be the, the table service place you go to. That's true. I'm sure that all of the table service dining locations, there's several, like, um, signature locations at Disney Springs, too, that you can get desserts from. And it's from 10 to $27, but the last ones are serving two people. How much is it? What's the one that's 10 Caramel apple bread pudding is 10 The butter oh. cheesecake is 10 You're going to spend that on an ice cream anyway. Right. Key lime pie says it serves two. That's fourteen. The triple chocolate layer cake is twenty six, and the turtle pie is twenty seven. It says serves two people. So you're gonna spend almost ten dollars on any almost any dessert. Maybe eight to ten bucks. Salt and straw is so I'm looking at the bending price right now. Salt and straw. If you get a single scoop of ice cream, it's seven twenty five. If you get a double scoop, it's nine ninety five. But then if you get like a waffle cone, it's two fifteen, yeah. or like sprinkles or anything like Same that, it's price. a fifty cents. So, yeah, no, it's the same price. I agree. I think that that's probably the best option at Disney Springs. There's also some really fun locations at Disney Springs that we've never been to before, um, like the T-Rex location, which is themed to um, obviously have dinosaurs in it, and there's, like, dinosaur animatronics in it, really cool theming and stuff like that. There's also Rainforest Cafe, which... I'm not a big fan of because you can eat rainforest cafes across the country. But the cool thing about this rainforest cafe is the outside of the building is themed to be a volcano. Um, and every, what, 20 minutes the volcano erupts? That was like one of the biggest hits when we first went there. Yeah, we loved that. Like, you've got to be there at night. I was going to say, you've got to be there at night. This past there time we were... There was a guy playing guitar across the pond at the Margarita Place. Uh-huh. And we're sitting there like, no Dock way. Margaritas. No way it's going off again. I forgot about Dockside Margaritas. I like grabbing a drink there too because Dockside Margaritas is located right across from World of Disney and it's along the water. It's just really relaxing. It's just a like a little stand where you can grab a drink from. You usually have somebody playing like cover band music like, and it's just really fun. Like if you go around like sunset or something like that, it's so relaxing to sit out there and listen to music. They also would typically have like live music playing at different locations throughout. Like we said, um, the area next to the boathouse has like a little bit of an amphitheater that they have live music at. There's a really fun like traveling pianist. It's a it's a piano that's on pianist. What is it? It's a piano that's on like wheels and it's like motorized. Like, like beside, uh... Yeah, and it, they'll be playing like different songs going through Disney Springs. Typically, those are themed to Disney music. But, like, the cover bands and stuff aren't themed to Disney music. And we've sat outside of Jock Lindsay's before and, like, watched older people, like, dance around at the amphitheater. And so my bucket list is the huge slice of pizza I've never gotten over there. Oh, at Maria and Enzo's? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Comment, like, share, tag, whatever. If you had that guy, because every single time we go there, I want that. <laughs> it's the Roman pizza, right? We either just ate something or we're on the way to eat something, and I've never gotten it. Yeah. Yeah, there's and there's so much fun stuff to do at Disney Springs. We have been there for the Super Bowl before. We've eaten at Splitsville um, during the game and watched the game there. You can also go bowling at Splitsville. Um, you can take one of the Ampha cars out on the water with somebody, of course, driving it um, from the boathouse. That's really well, fun. Drive it. 
Yeah, they won't let you drive it. It's a old vintage car that rides out on the lake. Um, you can do, there's so many different opportunities for things that you can do at Disney Springs. And we've gone there, like we said, we've gone there for an evening before. We've gone there. Um, this past trip, we went there like that morning, spent like half a day. That's what we've learned though now because we have to slow down with the girls. It's right. Like, slow down and take your time. Yeah. I mean, just walk through. But we know we're not even going to buy anything in, in half of these places. We don't. Right. Just like walk through it, grab a drink, whatever. And it's just like, you know, do do an activity somewhere. Just like, you know, just, just try something new. I think that's what we have for tonight. Yes, that is what we have. So that is going to do it for this week's episode. As always, be sure to give us a follow at the Double Dose of Disney fam on both Instagram and TikTok to keep the fun rolling. Please leave us a rating interview on your favorite podcast platform that goes so far to help us continue growing our audience. We will see you right back here next week. But actually, as a disclaimer, we have a second episode that's coming out this week um, talking all about our trip recap with the girls, things that we did to plan for our trip and how you can make the best of a, or how you can have a fun vacation with babies at Disney. Yep. So we'll be having like double episodes for uh, the foreseeable future. We're going back to Disney in May. So, um, we're hoping to kind of like amp up all that content, you know, we'll see ya. Bye.